Hi everyone, it's Weiss. So today I wanted to just do a casual video of me testing out some new watercolors that I got in the mail. Uh, they were sent to me by a company and I'm just going to be testing them out in this video today. So, first of all, the packaging is really pretty. It's this muted, like, peachy pink. They're in this sturdy cardboard box with like this matte finish it's just really pretty <laughs> and this is the brand it's Paul Rubens Paul Rubens watercolors I've already opened these <laughs> actually I should have saved the reveal for this video but I didn't really think I was gonna be making a video but yeah so it comes with this color catalog and I have no idea what's written in here because I don't really know how to read this <laughs> but yeah so many colors and it also comes with this color chart for you to fill in with the colors that you got in your watercolor set so I'm gonna be filling this in in a second now for the fun part it comes wrapped up in this nice handkerchief thing it's really soft and I don't know I thought it was really classy of them to do this these are the watercolors. They come in this really nice tin case. And when you open it, you get the colors. They actually came individually wrapped in these things, these wrappers. And they look like this. They look very glossy, which for me is a good sign because when they're glossy, I think they're easier to activate so I don't have to like keep scrubbing my brush. You, you saw that in my last video <laughs> because the watercolors were so chalky. So I'm gonna be filling out this chart with these colors and yeah. <laughs> and they also sent me a watercolor paper block which is 100% cotton and I'm really excited about that because cotton paper is the best way for it to work with watercolors and not only that it's hot pressed and this ended up being really nice like I'm really glad that they sent me this type of paper because I want to work with this type of paper more and as a lot of you might already know 100% cotton paper is very expensive <laughs> so I didn't want to buy the hot pressed kind and be disappointed by it so I'm really glad that I get to try these out and not pay for it. <laughs> oh yeah, so this video is not sponsored. They did not pay me to talk about these products. I just thought it would be fun to make a video about them because I like watching videos of people trying out new stuff. So yeah, this is not sponsored. They just sent these to me and I'm giving you my opinion about these products. So yeah. On the inside of the watercolor paper block, there's this nice black paper uh, with gold foil details. And in here we have the paper. <laughs> it's really smooth as expected from hot press paper. And I mean, yeah. <laughs> the aesthetic of everything together is really, really cute. I really like the gold and like pink and blue like color scheme they got going on like everything together looks really nice since I'm already presenting you guys what I'm going to use today I will also be trying out my new Prismacolor pencils I want to do a color pencil line art for this piece so I got some Prismacolors and I'm also going to be using my brushes. I got these two in the same purchase where I bought my Prismacolor pencils. I bought these two extra uh, Royal and Langnickel Zen brushes because I really love this line of brushes and they're all synthetic but they really really feel like natural bristles and I don't know I really love the, these brushes. So this is what I'm going to be using today and yeah let's see what we can make with these. So a lot of people also ask me about this 
mechanical pencil that I use and what kind of lead I use because it's erasable uh, colored lead and a lot of people ask why I use uh, colored lead I think it's it just looks nicer it looks less rough than you know just straight up graphite graffiti graphite <laughs> You guys get what I'm saying, okay? English is not my first language. I'm sorry I'm stuttering so much today. But yeah. <laughs> I use colored lead because it looks nicer. And that's pretty much it. And it being erasable really helps because if you make a mistake, you can just erase it. And it doesn't really go like that with like normal colored pencils. So the colored lead that I use is this one. It's the Uni Red Nano Dia color. It's raisable and yeah, I really like this colored lead. So this is what I'm gonna be using today. Let's paint, I guess. <laughs> I'd just like to point out that I just had a cup of coffee and my room smells like a coffee shop right now, which I find really, really cool. <laughs> swatched and I did the swiping finger thing <laughs> that I did on my cheap watercolor video and as you can see there's no color coming off let me show you closer there's no color on my finger which is really nice that means the pigment is all like very well bonded and that's always a good sign <laughs> I had a bit of difficulty with the browns Actually, this one, this, this one, it felt like I was digging for pigment. Uh, it's really not pigmented. I didn't like this brown. I had to like keep scrubbing the pan for this much pigment and this is the darkest I could get. Uh, so yeah, but all the rest of the colors are really nice and creamy and very vibrant and pigmented. I really like this set. I'm honestly quite surprised. <laughs> it was the summer of 09 and I saw my dream man staring at my burger from across the bar. He approached me, still looking down at my burger. That's a good looking burger, burger m'lady, he said, licking his plump lips. <laughs> I felt my ovaries explode. What a gentleman. You can have it if you want, I said.